Welcome back to this tutorial series on building effective framework templates for your customers to remix, make edits, and publish their new website fast. In this video, we'll look at how you should be building components and styles optimized for your users to make quick changes. Let's jump back into our example template. Starting with text and color styles. This is a key area for your customers because with styles, they can make global changes. Too many times I see creators not using any style and that can create an issue. For example, this color here does not have an assigned color style. And let's assume no colors or even text have assigned styles. Making change can take a long time to update across the entire site. And I would have to change the fill on each element and each section across all the pages. When instead, I can just assign a color style over here and all the elements that have been assigned to this style will change as well. This saves so much time for your user. It's a simple yet effective way for them to make quick edits. And that's the aim, right? You want to build a template in which your customer can launch their new website within 24 to 72 hours. Anything longer, they might as well hire a designer from scratch, especially if it requires them to make extensive edits. The same applies to text and link styles as well. Make sure each element has an assigned style so that global changes can be made easily by your user. So that's tip number one make and assign styles to all elements. With components, the same principle applies. You want to build them in a way so that your user can make easy edits. And you can do that by creating variables. Let's take a look at the button component. Here we're inside the button component view. You can see we have three variants for this component. Primary, secondary, and nav link. Each variant has three states. Default, hover, and pressed. Let's take a look at how you should be setting up the variables for this component. Select the component, come to an assigned variable, and you can see we have three variables here. Label, link, and new tab. Now, if we go back to one of the pages, select on any of the button, come to the right side and scroll down. This is where the user can make quick and easy edits to the component, making their lives easier in quickly updating your template. Variables are great for your users to quickly glance at a component and make changes. So that's tip number two, create variables for your components. Now let's take a look at a component where it's very content dependent and use multiple areas across the site. Here we have our testimonial component and you can see we have two variants, one for desktop and one for mobile to ensure that the design is optimized for different breakpoints. And just like all our components, we have the variables listed out so that the user can directly edit the component onto the canvas. However, this particular component is used on multiple areas on multiple pages throughout the website. So instead of making the user go to each individual area to make the change, we use the CMS functionality instead. The CMS is not limited to blog articles only. We can use it for other use cases as well, such as testimonials. You can see here, we have four CMS items. And if we click into one of them, you can see that the variables match the CMS fields as well. This means that the user doesn't need to go to each testimonial component and update it. Instead, whenever they like to make a change, they just need to come to this CMS collection, make the change and see the change come across globally throughout the website. The CMS can be used to better organize information and allow your users to make easier edits that result in global changes. So that's tip number three. Use the CMS to organize content and allow site-wide changes. To summarize, the tips are make and assign styles to all elements, allowing global changes with fewer clicks. Create variables for your components to allow efficient changes. Use the CMS not just for blog articles, but also organize content and make site-wide edits easily. That's it for this video. In the next one, we'll dive further into the CMS and how you can build it in a way so that your users feel confident in using it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.